subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i am going to show you how you can upgrade the m2 nvme ssd of your dell inspiron 5570 laptop so let's start the video so first of all you're going to need some things in order to do the installation first of all you're going to need a phillips head screwdriver that will open the screws of your laptop you're going to need some extra cards to open the locks of the laptop and last but not least you will need your nvme ssd so this particular ssd is an sp m2 pcie gen 3 cross 4 ssd so i'm using this one i have already made the unboxing video if you want to watch that the link will go, uh, show up right now and you can get an idea of which ssg you should buy for your dell inspiron 5570 anyways let me just place the laptop here and we can start opening it so here is the laptop so the first thing you need to do is to open this particular screw here so that you can remove the dvd rom of your laptop and then we can go with the rest of the screws so i'm just going to open them So here is the first one, I'm going to place it somewhere. So now after that, I'm going to remove the hard drive bay. Here you can see, as you can see, I have installed a second hard drive as well. I have already made a video on this topic as well. So a box should appear up right now. You can watch it if you want to know how you can install two hard disk drives or an ssd and a hard drive on your dell inspiron 5070 as well so i'm going to place it somewhere safe and now i'm just going to open all the screws uh, there are two screws here as well so you need to open these screws two screws as well and all of the rest of the screws as well so let me just open them one by one So once I have removed all the screws, I'm going to flip the laptop over again and I'm just going to remove the cover for now. And now here I'm going to use my these plastic cards to open the seals one by one. So the process is quite simple. All you have to do is to place your card on the notch. You're going to try to place it in and here you will see the groove up. So the best trick is to place one card in and use the other card to open the locks. You have to be careful. So this will take time, but you have to be careful again. So once you have popped up the all of the sides using the cards, while opening the lid is very simple. All you're going to do is to place your laptop in this position. You're going to simply swipe it down and you're going to pull over the back cover like this and it should come up quite easily if it is not coming up easily it means you have left some of the locks so try to recheck it i usually personally don't like this dull design of opening the whole panel using the locks and stuff but what can we do anyways you can see on the back of the covers there nothing you need to be afraid of like there are no wires here so we're just going to gently put it aside and here we can see the internal so here you can see ssd this is the place we are going to place our nvme ssd here is the port so this is an nvme port so i can place it quite easily so before placing it i think my laptop is really really dusty so i'm just quickly going to clean it i not asking you to clean it because these are very sensitive parts so if you are going to clean it then it's on your own risk i'm not suggesting you to clean it kindly go to a professional and make them do clean all the things so now let's install the nvme ssd here is the nv ssd port so here you can see we have a little black screw here so first of all we are going to unscrew it we are going to put it at a side and now here i'm going to bring my nvme ssd as you can see so here we have the smaller part on the right side and this is the way it's going to go in you can also double check it using your eyes on the port as well 
so all you're going to do is you're going to place it in like that give it a little push you're going to have uh, have the snap voice you're going to press it down and you're going to screw it so I'm going to get the screwdriver first gently and here we go so you're not going to tight it too much because the SSD is actually a circuitry so you don't want to break the actual circuitry not too much tightening it because it might break the SSD circuitry so that's enough and now I'm just simply going to close the lid so I'm just going to place the lid right now so a tip that I want to give you that when you're going to close the lid just make sure that all the locks are locked and you don't screw any of the screws yet because first of all I'm going to open my PC and check whether the hard disk is connected correctly or not maybe the connection is loose or maybe the NVMe SSD that I brought is not working at all so it's great that you first check it and then tighten all the screws so that's what I'm going to do I'm just gently going to press the locks I'm going to flip it over again I'm going to open it and here I will see the grooves so I'm just going to press them one by one making sure that all the locks are clicked here as well and that's all done so now before screwing the screws back and checking I'm just going to place the hard disk drive bay as well so that's done so now I'm going to power on the PC and I'm going to see whether it is detected or not if it is successfully detected then I'm going to simply screw all the screws again but if it not then it means something is wrong either with the laptop port or with the SSG so now I'm going to power on my laptop to see whether everything is working all right and to check the NVMe SSG as well so I will be making a speed test of this new NVMe SSG if you want to get notified of that video be sure to press the subscribe button and as well as the bell icon so the computer booted up successfully now in order to detect the hard drive first I'm going to go to this PC and currently I know that it is not showing here because it is a 512 GB hard disk drive and it is not showing here anywhere so it means we have to detect it first so the process is quite simple all you're going to do is on your where it says this PC you're going to right click on it and you're going to press on manage now here it will have storage you're going to double press on it then disk management and here you can see you must initialize the disk before logical disk manager can access it disk to and master boot record use the following okay and here you can see disk 2 476.94 gb that is an allocated so this is the nvmme ssd that i have just installed on the pc so it has successfully detected it and it is online meaning that it is working now in order to be able to see on your pc all you have to do right click on it new simple volume you're going to press on next the size uh, assign the value h and dfs is going to be it and for its name i'm just going to type local disk next and finish it's now formatting and our new ssd is now accessible so here you can see 476 GP free so this is the actual SSD so now that my I know that my SSD is working correctly on my laptop now I'm just simply going to screw all the screws back and we're finished so now I'm just going to plug in all the screws again so first of all again I'm going to remove the hard disk drive bay 
because we have two screws here as well i'm going to screw them and screw them out so this is it so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and make sure you press the bell icon so you get notified of the speed test that i'm going to do of the new installed nvme ssd on the dell inspire round 5570 anyways thank you for watching and stay safe